Every story, no matter how much action-packed it is, begins with introducing the main actors. Our course is certainly going to have a lot of action and it will touch many different domains of physics. There are, however, just three main actors. Topology, symmetry, and bulk edge correspondence. So now we will introduce them before the main action begins. Maybe the most frequent question I get from students who begin their research in the field is, what is topology? What is so cool or useful about topological systems? The answer is extremely simple. Topology is about all the things that cannot change continuously. So in order to define it, we first need to tell what we call continuous. For the same reason, topology in general is not useful at all, especially if we choose a silly discrete quantity. Well, for example, I could call every quantum system with size less than one micron a uh, nanosystem and study the topological classification of every experiment into nano and macro experiments. So, in order to apply topology meaningfully, we need to focus on useful physical characteristics. And of course there is no way to make a complete list of all the useful topological properties. So indeed this list keeps growing. However, most of the time that you hear about topological systems, it's all about one extremely simple topological quantity. Presence or absence of particles with zero energy excitation. If you think about it for a second, this property seems almost as ridiculous as the divisions, uh, division of systems by their size. After all, if, there's, if there are no zero energy excitations, who cares? Maybe there are those with some small energy. The curious thing is that if we only consider systems without zero energy excitations, it may happen that some of these cannot be transformed into others without the zero energy excitations appearing somewhere on the way. That way one can group all of the systems with a gap, so with no zero energy excitations, into separate classes and check what is the difference between those classes. Once again, if you remember what I said before about the usefulness of topology, this difference sometimes won't be profound at all. Sometimes, however, it will be well worth decades of research. Well, for beginning, we will focus on the not profound at all case, the uh, zero-dimensional systems or quantum dots. Before we dive into the topic, I should also say a few words about the other important player, symmetry. Unlike topology, it's an extremely well-known concept in physics and it defines how we think about most things. So, uh, crystals have translation symmetry. Energy conservation is a consequence of the translation symmetry in time. And finally, magnets exist because they spontaneously break time reversal and spin rotation symmetries. To topology, symmetry is like an added flavor, so that when we study the same topological properties in systems with different symmetry, we may come to a con completely different answer. But enough of the introduction. Go ahead, study the materials of this section. Since it is the very first one, I hope it will be simple and it won't take you much time. Keep track, however, at how topology appears and what is the interplay between topology and symmetry. 